Hi all, welcome to TechFest Java. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the structural design pattern that is adapter design pattern. And adapter design pattern is basically used to uh, uh, so that uh, two unrelated interfaces can work together. And uh, the object which uh, joins that unrelated interfaces is called an adapter. So adapter uh, um, in general language uh, we all have seen that uh, uh, in laptops generally we have an adapter. So what is adapter doing or, or a mobile charger having an adapter because our uh, electric uh, supply and uh, the, the power which is used to uh, charge the uh, laptop battery and mobile batteries are a bit different. So adapter uh, there is doing changes the uh, number of volt <laughs> so in the same way adapter pattern is basically used in uh, java language where uh, uh, whenever two unrelated interfaces need to be worked together uh, there we can uh, implement the adapter design pattern to make that possible so uh, for the implementation, we are taking that same example of a uh, uh, volt and socket thing. And uh, 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 for that, we have created uh, one Java uh, project. And uh, now we are going to create one. Class called. volt and in this class Now we will create a setter getter of this. So this is our bold class. Now we have to create one more class called socket. And what we will do in this class? In this class basically we will create a method called Volt get to forty volt, and here we will return one new volt object and passing that two forty. So it's an example. Then we are going to create one more interface. And this interface is named as socket adapter and here whatever the type of volts we want we will define the separate method for those volts like uh, we want uh, get 120 volt so we will define one method for get 120 volt similarly we can define get 60 volt and if we require any other type of volt then also we can define over here as a method and uh, after that we are going to create one class which is basically nothing but a socket adapter implementation class it's basically a socket adapter IMPL class which is really nothing doing 
implementing this socket adapter and after this uh, we will implement both these two methods and we will create one more method from here that is basically providing a volt and that will convert volt and here we are passing volt v comma integer i which is basically return new volt and uh, here basically we dot get volt divided by i so that is the matter now here we are going to implement this 120 volt <clears throat> for that firstly we need to do here we have to do one more thing we have to create one more private static or simply called create a private socket socket equal to new new socket and here what we will do using this we will get the 240 volt because the supply for the volt is 240 so we have taken 240 volt and then after we need to return so we have to convert this 240 volt into 120 volt and then after need to be returned so for that we will pass this 240 volt and how much number we need to be divide to make it 120 so that is 2 so we can pass here is 2 and similarly we can make the implementation for 60 volt but here we need to pass as 4 so this is our socket adapter implementation class and now we can call this and check that the adapter design pattern behavior for that uh, what we do we will create one socket adapter reference variable and creating a socket adapter IMPL object and with that object we can directly create called get 120 volt method and just print out what is it will return so check for 120 volt and similarly we can ask to provide a Sixty volt. So here we are checking for sixty volt. Okay, now let's just run this program. We need to take the get volt. Then only it will print the value. Okay. see as we can see that so what is happening here in this program when this method will called this method will take that value from this 240 and pass it as and convert it and return back similarly for 60.
so how this is how the adapted design pattern is basically works uh, it is basically run uh, when we uh, need to uh, make a compatibility between two unrelated interfaces so that uh, they both can work in a, a single application so that's it uh, uh, in real time example if we want to check that value then we can uh, we have seen that uh, there are some mappers so basically what happened uh, when we call fetch a data from database uh, they were returning a value in a result set object and that result set object we need to make it as in um, any of the model class object so we are going to create one mapper classes for that so it is a, a simplest example of a, a adapter pattern where the mapper is basically going to adopt that thing and uh, convert that uh, result set object into a a model class object so this is the adapter design pattern used um, that's it for this video uh, if you like this video please uh, like it comment it and subscribe my channel thank you